Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. What I'm doing in this video is I'm resurfacing this white stamped concrete patio. Uh, now, um, sometimes it can turn white uh, just because uh, of too much sealer. Uh, if you apply too much acrylic sealer to concrete, um, it'll build up over years and it'll give off almost like a hazy white finish. Um, and uh, you know that can potentially harm the concrete so what I'm doing in this video is uh, I'm just pressure washing down this uh, stamped concrete patio so you just want to make sure that uh, that the patio is cleaned really well all of the expansion joints are cleaned out um, you know it's it's really hard to tell how dirty this patio is until you clean it up and then you realize uh, it was filthy. So this is just an overview. After it's dried, it's been power washed. You can see the hazy white areas. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm using this uh, pump sprayer. I just picked it up. First time using it. And I'm just gonna pour a little bit of xylene into this, uh, this pump sprayer. Right now I'm actually wearing a respirator uh, because this stuff is, uh, it stinks and it's really bad for you. So you wanna make sure that you're wearing some sort of uh, N95 or uh, a full face uh, respirator. So I'm just putting this back on. Pump it up really well. Make sure there's lots of pressure. Now these are great spares, except for where the, the holster for the, the wand is. These things always fall off. I've been using these spares for years and they still haven't re improved the, uh, the wand attachment. Um, the, the, the piece just falls off. Uh, so that needs improvement in, in my eyes. All right, so what I usually do uh, when I'm revitalizing the acrylic using xylene, uh, basically I just go around the perimeter of the, the concrete, um, you know, basically going all the way around, spraying the xylene evenly and consistently. you want to get yourself a leaf blower, uh, whether it's battery powered or, or electric. Uh, I like the battery powered because uh, you don't have to deal with the cords uh, falling onto the, the freshly sprayed area. Um, so they're great just to have when you're sealing or, or doing any sort of maintenance like this. So you can see I'm just going to go around the area and give it a light spray. You don't need a lot of xylene on here. Okay, then you want to go to your furthest point and then uh, work your way in. So here you're going to see a vast improvement immediately. Uh, which is going to uh, recondition the acrylic in, in this uh, stamped concrete patio. So I did this patio, um, I poured this patio uh, about 10 years ago and uh, uh, the homeowner was sealing it and maintaining it themselves uh, all these years and they did a great job uh, um, but I mean um, 
you know, every few years you just want to uh, recondition it or don't seal it for a year uh, because uh, because it, if you put too much sealer it can turn white like this. So now the xylene is just going to reactivate the acrylic, remulsify it, and, uh, and turn this right around again. So I used a Ashler Slate stamped concrete pattern and uh, a chamois color hardener border all the way around the outside. This is one of the one of the earlier projects I've ever done uh, years ago, so it was great to come back and see see what it looked like. So I'm just consistently applying, you know, rubber boots are great for something like this uh, because if you spray a little bit on, you're, you're not going to ruin your shoes. You can just use these for uh, maintenance type projects. So a year from now, um, ideally this patio should get sealed uh, with a regular decorative concrete sealer um, and that'll help um, quite a lot to, to, to really bring this back out. Uh, now this really improved the, the color and, and, and usability of this patio, um, but, uh, but next year and in two, uh, 2021, uh, this patio should be sealed again to really bring out that color. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe, like and share and don't forget to check out my website theartofconcrete.ca